Long story. Oh, hey, Zach's playing. Hey, he's playing. We'll talk about it after. Uh, gridlock. Yeah. So this is the Fox versus Peach matchup. Yeah. So it's a very interesting matchup, just because uh, Fox can't really have his way. There's some matchup where you, Fox can brute force because he has tech skill, but it's one of those matchups where it's like if you force it, you know, Peach has just really easy capitalization off of it. Yeah, and on FD, we have chain throws unlocked. So yeah. So big, yeah. big blunders uh, from Fox can lead to a lot of percentage. Totally. So stocks. Let's see how, you know, Zach deals with that. Because I know he's a very disciplined player. Yeah, I mean, he's got plenty plenty of experience against Peaches uh, from NorCal. There's Allen out there, then in Washington, you know, you have Bladewise. Yeah. <clears throat> so do you know Gridlock at all? Uh, yeah, I've, I mean, I've played him a couple of times. Normally, he actually just goes Fox against me. Okay. Because uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to step to this with this Peach. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> But I played. Uh, I actually played his peach for the first time today in some friendlies with my uh, oh, uh, my Samus and my Falco. How'd that go? Uh, I, yeah, I wash. <laughs> but um, you know, it's tournament. Anything could happen. Totally. Like getting shine and accidentally air dodging off and killing yourself. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, SFAT's execution is so good. There's so many moments where, like, he's just able to execute very, I guess, hard, Consist but like, yeah, consistently, very hard techs like Shine out of shield. I feel like that's just a lot of tech a bunch of Fox players, including myself, are just inconsistent at, just because it's a very funky timing, so. Yeah, yeah. But like, you know, Zach's execution in certain areas, it just gets him so much. It's really sick to watch to be honest Let's see what gridlock can do yeah he's got a, li a little bit of tempo right now but he yeah, kind of lost yeah. it when he uh, resets into the middle if he kept, kept him on the ground but closer to oh Ooh, shit. every every peach gets one <laughs> every time you toad you get one hell yeah mm. uh, he didn't believe in himself i think if he actually had more uh more confidence in that forward air that would have kept him from dying in what situation? Um, the situation before he got up smashed. He did a float forward air, and uh, S Fat was trying us jumping back to the ledge. I think he should have just believed in himself and just went like closer to the ledge. Because okay. worst case scenario, um, like Fox, he might he might be able to do shine, uh, shine Waveland, but uh, there's oh a really good chance God. that he can mess that up. Yeah, yeah. And then down smash is always on the table. Like sometimes it's okay to scrub it up because if you haven't done it yet, even pros can get hit by random stupid stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That combo by SFAT, oh my gosh, that was sick. He used the forward air for the DI mix-up because, you know, positionally he was at the end of the stage, so the Peach is likely going to DI in. <laughs> so he used the forward air to continue the combo and was able to get the stock from it. It's just amazing. Fox stuff. Just Fox things. <laughs> just, just, fo just, yeah, fox just Fox things. Just Fox things. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like anything Dude, from us, Yeah, all my characters suck against Fox. Yeah, but just like Dark Souls. It is. We're like the Dark Souls. Yeah, box. Fox, Fox <laughs> is like a new game plus seven Dark Souls box. Oh my god. But Anyways, but game two, we're going on Fountain of Dreams. Yeah, common counter pick against Foxes. Um, they hope that the platforms can disrupt a lot of their tech. Right. And get them to run into like a uh, eye level down smash and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's also easier for Peach because one of the biggest, one of the bigger problems of like Peach is the fact that her double jump is slow. So the fact that the platforms can raise lower means that uh, her up throw punishes have more potency and have more uh, mix-ups to them. Yeah, I don't think the side platforms ever get to the point where she can't reach them with her with her full hop. Right. And uh, I think Tommy top platforms kind of annoying, but since the stage is small, like any kind of knockdown works really well. It's like she can force, uh, force it, get easier tech chases as well as uh, force off stage a lot easier. And that's where Peach kind of wants Fox whenever she gets a touch. Oh, nice. Oh, caught his float and double jump. Yeah, that was sick. Just use the two nares and quick shine to finish it off. But it was just really interesting how he placed those nares. Nice. Good luck trying to catch uh, s with those downs. Oh, no! <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty hard for Peach to punish Drill, actually, especially when a fox doesn't fast fall and fade o fades away. Oh, shoot. What the? <laughs> what? <laughs> you look like a dummy, though. <laughs> Why? Why would you challenge that? Let's see. I guess he was trying to catch it back.